for me, it's all about you know making the most of your potential, uh, not being afraid to chase your dreams, to have a go, to, uh, to again not be afraid to be different, to back yourself, and to uh, to go out there and give 100%. So that's uh, my philosophy on life, and whatever I do, I want to do 100%. And I think that's pretty similar to what Johnny Walker stands for. We're here shooting in India because India is such an incredible place. It's so rich and it's so vibrant and it's like nowhere else on earth where you can get fantastic visual backdrops for somebody on their journey. I think India is a fantastic backdrop for us to be shooting Steve's story. What we wanted to demonstrate was you know, not just his cricketing career, what he's gone on to do since. And I think being here in India really brings to life Steve Waugh as a character and what he's gone on to do since his cricketing career finished. Steve Waugh is the perfect choice to be representing Johnny Walker purely because of what he's done as an Australian, what he's done as a sportsman and what he's done as a humanitarian across the world really. I mean his influence is, is far reaching and he has continuously kept to his word and kept moving with the way he does things. People can associate themselves with a person like Steve Waugh and be inspired to keep walking. First time I came to India, I wasn't sure whether I loved it or hated it. It was such a, a huge change from my life in Australia, and uh, to see people uh, in poverty and begging on the streets and so completely different to Australia, it was almost too much to take in. But every time I came back, I started to fall more and more in love with the country, and now it's just a great place. I mean, there's so many things to see. It really is a bombardment of your senses: the sights, the smells, the sounds. It's never boring. The people are friendly. Uh, they obviously love cricket, which is a good thing. And my involvement now with uh, my philanthropy work uh, gives me a real connection with India. Essentially, the script was Steve walking uh, and reflecting about different moments in his career, significant moments in his career that have you know, made him who he is today and how the public perceives him. The section of the script where Steve actually walks into the children's um, home that, that he uh, he sponsors and does a lot of work with in India um, was a scene that had to be shot regardless in India. We had to go there. So my idea was to shoot his journey up until uh, he actually arrives at the um, children's home. During a, a test match series here, um, we lost the test match in four days. I had a spare day off and received a letter to come and visit this rehabilitation centre for kids. Um, they were short of money and they needed someone of profile to go and have a look at the place. And, uh, I read this letter and thought that's a really heartfelt, genuine letter. And once I walked through the gate here, I knew it was a special place and something that I really wanted to be associated with going forward. So it was one of those moments, it was pure chance, coincidence, call it what you want, but uh, circumstances came together and it was meant to be. Where they have to go on strike like this? The scenario is there is a strike on in Kolkata. All flights have been cancelled into Kolkata, which means our camera gear has not arrived. The whole town's protesting today, it means nothing's happening, so we're having a, a pre-tech recce meeting. We're still excited and we still know that we're going to do a great job. It's just going to be 24 hours later than planned. In every uh, film shoot, they always build accommodation for uh, for the crew to hang out in. In between shots, this is Indian style. We are using a few locals from here. We're using them on the cycle, and then we're using them for the field. And remember the fishermen? They're also the local people. It's actually the problem is the little ones who are crying at the background. Their moms or their dads are on that shoot. So they are missing their parents and they're making a, creating a scene out there. Normal India, organised chaos comes together, it's all okay. People are very friendly. Uh, the Bush Telegraph went around air, all the surrounding areas. So we had like probably five or six hundred locals standing around set. 
um, which gridlocks all the traffic, puts a lot of pressure on us. We're trying to capture an isolated scene in the most unisolated <laughs> environment. It's always challenging in India. I mean, you've got uh, all the, you know, the weather elements, the amount of people that are around, you know, the animals, the cows, the goats, the buffaloes, the ducks, all these things coming into place and there's so much noise and so much going on. And I think it's, you know, it's challenging to do a shoot in India, but it's, it's, it's equally rewarding because uh, you know, the scenery is fantastic, the people are so friendly, and uh, you know, I'm hoping it's gonna come up on the screen as well as we think it will.